Hey guys, I, I want you to just see this really quick, okay? I'm not sure how well you can really see my scarring, but I have a lot of scarring all over my face. The, the lighting is hitting this side right now, so it's like, it's one shaded and one more bright, so you can't really see, but um, yeah, that, that's basically my scarring, and I wanted to just start off the video showing you, kind of, you know, my scarring and, and all of that, uh, because this hit home, it, this really hits home. Uh, I've been working for a very long time now, about nine years I've been training, uh, and if you don't know my story, my name is Brendan Myers, I'm 23 years old, I moved from Florida to California about a year and a half ago. I started my journey at 119 pounds, my calisthenics journey, and now I am 205 pounds with a 2.5 million plus family, I like to call them, instead of fans, all over following around all my social media. And uh, I attribute everything, all of my success, as many people may call it success. I don't think I'm successful yet, not nearly to, to my standard yet, but um, I attribute it all to a few different things and, and the main motivator has been my acne and my scarring. It has. And, I, and I'll go through the story for you really quick. So when I was 13, 14 years old, uh, I just turned 14 years old, I was at my aunt's house or my grandfather's house up in New York City. And my brother was there and he had a really, really bad acne, really bad acne. Uh, and I went up to my aunt Joanne and he doesn't even know this to this day. But I went up to my Aunt Joanne and I was like, I was like, hi, Chris has all this acne. I'm never gonna have that acne. He looks so bad. Da, 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 da. I was making fun of I was laughing. For some reason, I was so insecure about myself that I was laughing at him. Well, that next six to eight months, I developed acne really bad, worse than him, worse than my sister, worse than everybody. And I started to I started to realize, oh my gosh. Like, I'm so ugly, you know, I have all this acne all over my face, I can never be anything. I'm, I was dep just depressed. I was 119 pounds, I was skinny as heck. I used to be the best athlete out there on the field playing football, soccer, baseball, all those, basketball, all those different sports. And now I was in my room, I was, I was secluding myself. I was playing video games, and, and, no, and nothing against people that play video games. Video games is, are awesome. But I was personally playing video games. Every single day, I was, um, I was in major league gaming, so I went to huge events and I, I placed in, in the top 32, whatever, in Orlando and all those different things. Uh, but I, I was missing something. And it was what I really loved to do. And that was play sports and, and enjoy myself in front of people. And I remember in high school, my freshman year, I used to walk around with scars all over, or pimples all over my face. And I didn't even want to walk near any girls. I didn't want to walk through the halls. I would literally hold my, my uh, bathroom break for during class all day because I didn't want to get up in front of the class and people see me walk and everything like that. Now, if you are somebody that was in this situation, keep on watching this video. Or if you know somebody that's in this situation, keep on watching this video because I'm so serious. This has gotten me to where I am today. 2.5 million plus family members and just growing exponentially every single day. Uh, so 119 pounds, 14 years old, almost 15 years old, that's when I started training. Um, you know, I, I, I wanted to do something behind the scenes because I didn't want people to look at my face. I always wanted to push myself in a different way. And I started to work out. I started to work out and then do sports. So I wanted, my, my philosophy was, let's build the biggest, sh most shredded, most explosive body so that nobody is gonna judge me for my face. They're gonna look at my body and be like, wow, he's shredded, he's big, he's awesome. Like, you know, who cares about his face, whatever. But that wasn't the case. People called me Crater Face. People called me Mountain Eden. I don't know, m different mountain names. <laughs> um, it's, it's funny to me now because of, of where I have come th throughout the nine years. But they used to call me so many different names that just, I would just, I hated myself. I hated the way I looked. I, was so, I just wanted to kill myself. I was just so tired of all the hate. And, and that's one of, the, one of the main reasons why I have developed the passion I have today about helping people and um, building a strong foundation within fitness and the correct fundamentals within body weight training and weight training, all these different things for people to really come in and look at the database of all these videos and take them into their own life and develop the way I did. Uh, but I can say this, is that it motivated me throughout all of those years to just keep on going to prove everybody wrong. And I started playing football. People told me I couldn't play high school football. People told me I couldn't play college football. I ended up doing all of that and then I just quit one day. 
I just said, you know, enough is enough. I'm playing college football for the wrong reasons. And basically, uh, I would say this is what attributed to all of that throughout those years. And I finally realized that I was doing things for other people and I wasn't doing them for myself and what I wanted for other people. And then I started YouTube and all of that. And uh, if you look at, f at fitness models, if you look at anybody that's huge in the fitness industry, they, they're good looking. Let's, let's be real. They are good looking individuals who, whether they have the most beautiful body or the most beautiful face, not many of them have scars on their face. Right? They just don't, actually, I don't know if any of them do really have scars, like bad scars on their face. Now, some people will say, oh, Brennan, you don't have bad scars at all. Some will say, oh, my gosh, what happened to your face? Whatever it may be, I still have scars on my face, and they have gotten better, a lot better, over the past uh, few years through some treatments and, th and things like that. But, you know, right now, here where I am, to get to where I am, 2.5 million plus, I have had to work my butt off on a, to another level. That, that no one really understands because they're not in my shoes right here, right now. I have literally stayed up working 14, 15 hour days just responding to every message, every comment people send me, everything. I have learned how to graphic design, shoot my own videos, photograph. Uh, I've bought all this camera gear, uh, how to edit. I've learned how to edit. I have learned how to create my own website. I learned how to market myself and grow and grow and grow and where to put money in, in specific places and all these different things to grow my following so I can spread my passion to everyone else and spread my story to everybody else as well. And I have never made a video about this because it just hits home. This is literally the underlying factor to where I am today. Because if I never had these, this is a remembrance of where I am today. This is a remembrance. And if I, and if I never had these, I would never be comfortable where I am right now. I would never be where I am right now. I'd probably be off doing some other crap. I don't even know. I wouldn't even be working out. I might not even be working out. And uh, it, it's, it's just been, it's been a humbling nine years to say the least. And from that, I treat women with utmost respect. And that's one of the main things. I, women, my girlfriend Lexi, if you guys don't know her, I treat her with the most respect in the world because she even told me, she said, I, I, even when I was talking to her and I liked her so much and I was telling her, you know, oh, I have my scars. She said, I don't even see those scars. I just see you and what's inside of you and your passion. And that's what I like about you. And that's what it's all about. It's about, you know, your passion, where you want to be in life. Stop worrying about the, what you look like on the outside. Now where I am today, I don't care about my, the way my body looks. I use it to help motivate other people, yes, but I don't care about the way this looks to an extent. I'm not, you know, cocky in, in the sense of, oh, I have a six pack or I have biceps, I have a big chest. No, I train for, for performance to show people that they can be versatile and this new philosophy of training can bring results faster than, than most other, actually all other training uh, protocols out there. This new philosophy that I'm creating, calisthenics. And, you know, I just want to tell you again, if you are somebody that is running into a bunch of problems that doesn't believe in themselves and has acting on their face, whatever it may be, just keep pushing. Keep pushing, keep working hard. It's worth it in the end. Trust me, it is worth it in the end. If you wanna be the biggest model in the fitness industry, go. Keep going. Create that new category within fitness if you have to. Whatever it may be, you just gotta keep going. This, the way your face looks, the way your body looks, if you have one side of your, your body that's smaller than the other, who cares, just keep going. People like to see hard work. They like to see they like to see other people that, are, that they can relate to overcome their obstacles because then they, they know that they can overcome theirs. And if we keep on spreading this positive mindset, then we can really change the world. And that's why I started Cal Aesthetics. Is, and if you don't know what Cal Aesthetics means, it's a journey towards a physique using body weight training. And I, I created this because a lot of people don't have a gym, right? But at the same time, they might have a gym, but they just don't know how to work out, whatever it may be. And I believe that we all have a journey, and every step is a new obstacle we're thrown at by life. And we have to keep on testing ourselves, but staying humble at the same time. Because the, once we start breaking away from being humble, we start moving into you know, things that, that society wants us to be. And we're not average people. We're not, we're not meant to be on earth to be average. We're meant to be different. 
not superior or any, any, any of those stupid words, alpha, whatever it may be, but being beasts. We're, we're supposed to unleash our beast inside. That's the whole point of my calisthenics program because we're supposed to unleash the beast inside, be unique, and help everybody else around us be who they want to be as well. And that's what it's all about. So I wanted to make this video for you guys because I just think it's so important for you guys to understand why I work so hard and where I am today, what it's attributed to, and that is acne and scarring. You know, I, I'm okay with it now. I love it. I love it. And I love walking into a bar and people looking at me because of my scarring or whether it's just I'm bigger or whatever it may be. I just don't care because I love my life and I love my passion. I love my hard work and I love you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Share this with your friends. Share this with your friends that are, are running through this problem. Just, just give them hope. Understand that, that, that anything is possible. Really, anything is possible. I went from 119 pounds at 14 years old with acne all over my face to 205 pounds, 23 years old, 2.5 plus million following and living in California, just living a great life. And it's your turn now. So again, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Share this with your friends. Subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys. Remember, hashtag calisthenics. If you want any videos produced, I'll see you soon.